Now this is a video I've been meaning to do for a long time. I've been itching to open these things up, but I wanted to do it on video and I wanted to get previous videos about the Hewlett Packard gear out of the way first. But uh, yeah, this, this is some junk that I picked up on the nature strip. Someone had thrown it out and it was in a large plastic tub, bigger than that, but that sort of thing. And uh, unfortunately the night before it had rained, so there was a, two or three inches of water in, in the tub. This was at the bottom of it, and uh, so it's been water damaged, no doubt. Same with that unit at the back, and this was on top, so it probably didn't get soaked, but probably also water damaged. Anyway, what are they? A mini electro-surgical unit, and that appears to be a similar thing, electro cautery So I think they uh, you stick some electrodes in there, put one to a pad on, on somebody's body, Small of their back, I think, and then with the other probe, you cut them open <laughs> using, I think, a high voltage spark. And I'm guessing that it's a, a radio frequency high voltage so that the skin effect reduces the amount of electric shock. Although, skin effect won't really matter when you're cutting people open, but maybe at that point, it, yeah, who knows? Uh, and it cauterizes the cut obviously because you've got this high intensity spark going on and these seem to be fairly common there's, there's devices like these on ebay a number of different models and as well as cutting and cauterizing they do half a dozen other medical things that i don't know what they mean but uh, yeah i think it'd be interesting to see what's inside of those and the other thing that was in there was this contraption which is a ultrasound machine uh, uh, depending on how interesting they are, I'll even do it all in one video or one video for these guys and one for, for this guy. Yeah, so first of all, I'll, I'll leave that one to last, open these guys and see what's in them. Also in the bucket with these things were a couple of foot pedal switches, presumably for these things so that you can have your hands free while you're doing your surgery and Turn on the spark with your foot. Now this one has got something loose inside of it, which, and it feels that that loose thing is most of the weight of it. So let's have a look inside that. All right, just four screws on the edges and already a bit of signs of rust. And this just lifts off, I think. Uh -huh. And there's our heavy weight that's banging around. Yeah, looks like a couple of high voltage transformers, ferrite core. Not much in there. Can this come off? It seems to be in the way a bit. By the way, these are made in, this thing is made in India. Okay, it's not completely loose, it's just a couple of really loose bolts in the mounting, not letting it, not holding it in place properly. I'm not trying reverse engineer come up with a circuit for this thing might be interesting that looks like the foot, foot switch control I'm not sure what that is there one little circuit board with a TO220 I'm guessing a triac don't know what that is I don't know if there's a screw for this front panel under there okay I can, I can get get the front panel off with that and try and reverse engineer it see what see what I come up with and so that comes away almost um, can't get this to lay flat down there so they've saved a couple of cents on wire for this still not sure what that is and I'll try and draw a schematic of this and I've done a bit of reverse engineering on this thing this unknown device actually turns out to be a couple of spark gaps. You might be able to see it against the paper there. There's two spark gaps in series there. One that goes across and then out here. This transformer appears to be the high voltage source. The primary measures 180 ohms and the secondary 10k. So that's that generates the high voltage which goes into this lot, and I think this actually works a bit like a Tesla coil. 
Now, the spark gap is in series with this to these to a coil with a capacitor across it. It's like a resonant circuit. And maybe that oscillates at radio frequency. And there's two other coils that uh, which go to the outputs, either here or here. And this here is a triac, and this circuit is in series with the primary of, of this guy, and I think that oscillates and turns this on and off rapidly, creating sparks there, which then resonate in here, in, in the primary of this. There's also other capacitors on the secondaries, and they're 3.9 microfarad 2kV caps. Here's the circuit. Yeah, so power comes in. The fuse, the neutral, not the active, which is a bit dodgy. Switch goes there, the main switch, which then illuminates a neon bulb to say power's on. Then it goes to this foot, foot switch output control. And when you press the foot switch, then the high tension neon comes on. It activates this triac circuit, which I believe oscillates turning on the primary to this transformer, creating a high voltage. Yeah, it charges up this capacitor until it reaches enough voltage for the spark caps to fire, causing a large flow in this primary and the two secondaries, maybe they also resonate. don't really understand what's going on there fully, but I believe it, it probably produces a radio frequency voltage, and that goes to these various outputs. Something like that. Now, this is certainly a dodgy piece of gear. First of all, we have the sloppy mount for this transformer, just using a couple of bolts like that with nuts holding it in mid-air. Everything about this looks a bit homemade. Look at that. This turns out not to be ferrite, the core of this. It's just some plastic, and it's got broken, and they've bodged on an extra bit of spacer there. Uh, the earth connection didn't have a star washer, although they did scrape away the powder coating so it could make contact with the case, but it should have a star washer to make sure that it stays in contact. Fusing the neutral instead of the active is dodgy. And then the active comes out to this terminal, so they've got 240 volts going through the foot switch. Not nice. <laughs> what if you're, uh, the patient's blood pours all over the switch and electrocutes you? Worst of all, they've got the active coming to the outer side here, so you, you can actually touch that. If the power's on and you touch that, you've got active right there instead of on the, the more inner terminal. Yeah, so all in all, pretty dodgy and homemade looking. But it's a nice case, uh, so I can probably tear this off or even use a different plate on there. But uh, yeah, it's a nice case for some other project. So there you go, hope you found that interesting. All right, let's have a look at this other electro cautery cauterizing machine. This one looks a bit more volume production than the other job, and therefore it's expected to be a little bit more, a little bit less DIY looking inside of it. This one's made in Taiwan, so I'll take those four screws out and see what's in there. Right, this looks a lot more professional. Nice uh, high tension wiring, potted electronics, much more professional looking output transformer and split cores or split bobbins for the uh, input. Same, same sort of deal for spark gap by looking at there, so it's probably very similar. I'll have to, have to look up this part, it's got a yes, one, yes NG C1, C2, 4kV, 5000p. Maybe it's only a pair of capacitors in there. Uh, yeah, where's the triggering circuit? Not sure what triggers the primary. The other, the other job, there was a circuit in, turning on power to the primary, sort of an oscillator. Um, maybe this one's continuous. I'll have a look, there might be something underneath this. Oh, there will be, have you got big controls? It's probably just a, oh no, look at that, that big control moves the secondary over the primary. That's, that's interesting, isn't it? Changes the amount of coupling. I'll see if I can come up with a circuit for it. Right, I've 
reverse engineered this guy. There doesn't appear to be any electronics. I believe this is just two capacitors, a small one and a large one. 4KV says 5000P. I suppose that means uh, 5 microfarads. This says uh, 4KV 4350P, I think. So 4 microfarads. Anyway, there's the circuit for it. Again, the foot switch is on the active. I guess what I was saying before, it, it, it's um, no avoiding that. The foot, the foot switch is going to have mains power on it no matter what. But in the case of this thing at the back, it certainly shouldn't have active where you could just touch it when there's no plug in there. It should be the deeper pin that's on the active. Or really, I suppose it should be low voltage for a relay, but then you'd need a low voltage power supply and another transformer. Yeah, good insulation, I suppose, will take care of that. Um, I found ads for this model on the internet, couldn't find a manual for it, but it says that its uh, output frequency is 700 kilohertz, so it's definitely some sort of a resonant circuit here with the spark gaps and the capacitors and on the output here. And again, it's got a uh, low and high and a monopolar or you know, non-reference non to ground. The centre tap of this thing goes to ground, but it, there doesn't seem to be a, a ground output here. So, are they just relying on mains ground to make that connection? Possibly. Resistances are of the coils are like that. You can see the big difference there, so that's where the really high voltage comes out. So, again, a nice that might be a nice high voltage transformer, especially since it's got split bobbins, unlike that one. And this is really cute. That's got to be useful for something. Not sure what, but I like it. Anyway, so, <laughs> yeah, a couple of uh, microsurgery cautery units. Oh, this, this, by the way, this, this is good for removing freckles, polyps, and hemorrhoids. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, <laughs> looking at these two things. I'll have a look at that, uh, that um, ultrasound in the next video. All right, don't forget to smash that like button before you watch the video, and I'll catch you later.